begin. This week we're going to learn all about Henri Matisse, a French painter and art maker. This is week 32 for 4th through 7th grade. Before I begin, please make sure that you watch the video all the way till the end. That way you can get all the information that you need. Don't skip ahead. The only time you may skip ahead is when you've already watched the video more than once. So make sure you watch it all the way through. So who is Matisse? Henri Matisse was an artist, of course, that was born in 1869 in France. He was a painter, sculptor, and printmaker. He became interested in painting during a time that he was recovering from appendicitis. His mother was the one that gave him art supplies, and that's what sparked his interest. In his interest. <laughs> Fauvism. Fauvism is an important art movement. It was part of the 20th century, and it involved bold color and painterly qualities over realistic art so what we see with really hyper realistic or realistic art is that it's representational of what you actually see or you may see in real life the fauvism art movement showed very bold and bright colors which did not represent what you could see with your own eye in real life so we see this Favis movement here represented in his artwork with a painterly quality. So you can see all the layers of paint that Matisse has added to his artwork. And you can also see a lot of the colors that he has mixed and included in his work. The woman appears to have a blue tone to her face and of course an orange neck. So he really, really chose his color palette very well to show shadows and to show other things in his artwork. Green stripe, Madame Matisse, and you can see again here we have the realist version of what the person looked like. And they're here on the right. This is an actual photograph. And then we have his painting. And again, with those very bold and bright colors. This is an example of another kind of art that Matisse made. Matisse not only painted, but he also made cutout works of art. So you see that here. What he did was he would grab pieces of colored paper and he would cut different shapes and paste them. This is called the snail. And you can see the idea where it could be a snail based off the arrangement, meaning how he placed the shapes and pieces around his page. Then we have another piece here. And again, very natural and organic type shapes. They're not geometric. They're very organic. And you can see that being done here. And of course, those bold and bright colors. He starts including some neutral colors like black. But this is what appears here. So. So now we're going to go ahead and go off to our last piece here. This is Cat with Red Fish. And this is exactly what we will be doing this week. This week we'll be doing a study of his work. So this is what appears here on the screen. And we're going to go ahead and work together to replicate this drawing. Or I should say painting. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, kiddos, so let's go ahead and get started with our artwork for this week. We've learned about Henry Matisse, some facts about his life, and now we're going to go ahead and kind of replicate one of his artworks. It's a study so we can understand the technique of color that he used, pattern, and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and start off here on our page. We're going to make sure that our page is about this wide or big this is an eight and a half by 11 which is a regular piece of white copy paper and then of course it is portrait again that means that it's just like this normal okay this is a landscape this is portrait so we're gonna go ahead and begin here we're gonna start off by grabbing our pencil and we're gonna make a nice circular shape or just a circle all right if you remember looking at Henry Matisse's work as we went through the beginning of this video, you're going to see that his lines weren't extremely perfect. There was some character to them. So we're going to go ahead and keep that in mind as we draw. So we have our circle here. Next, we're going to go ahead and draw an oval just like this. This is going to be for our fishbowl. This is the cat's head. Okay circle oval remember you don't your lines don't have to be perfect now we're going to go ahead and make a nice vertical line going down 
not all the way down, but most of the way. Same on the other side, about equal length. And then of course, we like to close that off. There we go. All right, next is we're gonna go ahead and create the table. Again, keep in mind, these shapes don't have to be perfect. All right, that's the table, the tabletop. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and come back up here. We're gonna go to this part of the cat and we're gonna go about right here on this part of the head. We're gonna make a line that curves all the way down, just like that. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start off here. And we're gonna start here and then start going inward. Okay, notice that inward curve. And go up. All right, that's for the cat's foot or paw. And we're gonna go ahead and go back up. And we're gonna do this. Okay, this will be for the paw that's going inside of the fishbowl. Now to close it off, I'm gonna make a nice curved line like such. Going down. And I just wanna, I'm just gonna fix up a line here that I have. All right, there you go. And then I'm just gonna make one more line over here. There. Okay, so now what I wanna go ahead and focus on, I'm just gonna add a couple more details here to my cat's head. And I'm gonna start off by doing this. I'm gonna make the ears. So to do that, I'm gonna make some nice kind of oval-like shapes. Okay, our cat is in an angle. Those are the eyes. And this is his little nose. I'm gonna go ahead and add whiskers. Those are the details that make us see that this is a cat. Okay. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tail. <laughs> okay, let's go all the way down. If you see that your line goes out a little too far, just pause and then you can always go back anyways. I'm drawing a whole lot darker than you should be. You all should be applying light pressure to your pencil as you draw. This is a very important technique to practice. All right, let's go ahead. Now we've focused here on the cat. Let's go ahead and work here on the fishbowl. So we're gonna go ahead and make a nice water line. I'm gonna pause there and I'm gonna continue on the other side. All right, I'm gonna make some fish. You can draw the fish in whatever style you, you'd like. This is the style I'm aiming for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add an eye to each one of them. Okay. Now there's some lines that we wanna get, go ahead and get rid of and change in particular, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this line here. I don't need that there. And of course, we don't need this line here from the fishbowl because we want the fish, his leg is not see through, right? So we wanna erase that line. Okay. Now, next we're gonna go ahead and draw a couple of lines on our page. So pay attention to how I draw these lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by drawing a line that goes horizontally right here, the corner of my table. And I'm gonna go ahead and come back and then angle down like this. See that? And then we're left with a little space here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come back up here uh, about where the fishbowl kind of almost begins at the top. And I'm gonna make a line that goes across. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also make a line that goes up over here on this side. One more line here, and one more line here. All right, I've made my lines. I'm happy with them. I'm gonna go ahead and come back down here and make the, the legs of my table. And I wanna go ahead and keep the following in mind. The legs are gonna be kind of close to each other. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna start off with one leg here in the center. That's one. That's two. And 
minus 3. Okay, then I'm just going to make a line like this. And there you go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with my drawing here. This is the base of it. If you'd like to go ahead and add the patterns that Matisse has added in his work, you may do so. And I encourage that you do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go in and trace everything that I've drawn. And I'm going to go ahead and start the coloring process. This is the finished product of Henri Matisse's artwork, Cat with Red Fish. We can see a lot of bold colors, complementary colors being used. We can see a lot of pattern being used. And of course, the line work we see inside of our artwork is very thin, yet it brings a lot of attention to the artwork itself. Okay. This week, we will have Zoom meetings. I have had Zoom meetings with 6th and 7th grade, and I also have a Zoom meeting scheduled for Thursday with my 4th and 5th graders. So we can go over this project and also the artists that we have studied this week, and Matisse. So please be on the lookout for any exit ticket questions or anything of that sort. Okay, please also be aware that next week, beginning the first week of May and the second week of May, we will not have any Zoom meetings due to testing. So please be aware of that situation. Um, also know that because of that, of course, as always, our pre-recorded lessons will be available, but please make sure you watch the video as many times as you need to. And of course, go through the video all the way through until the end. Do not skip ahead, watch the whole thing. That'll help you out very much. All right, boys and girls, hope, I hope you enjoyed this project and learning all about Henri Matisse, and we'll go ahead and we'll see you next time. Bye.